Hey, the Zoom is having that same link problem. I'm going to send this link to Jamal. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. I don't know why it's not like it's a, uh, the meeting should, we should have more meetings, but it keeps saying the meetings are over and that it doesn't have, have it on Zoom. Too. Might just be, doesn't seem like he was <laughs> trying to get in necessarily, but <laughs> that's all good. How's, how's Johnny's family doing? Um, I asked you before, but I, you said, oh, in, how are they doing in more detail? Uh, they're okay. Uh, Janine is weaning off of oxygen slowly. So she's down to two liters of oxygen rather than wow. four. Good. Oh God. Um, and her GI symptoms have passed and she's no longer feverish. So I think mm -hmm. it's beginning to slowly turn a corner, but it, like the recovery is just super slow. Yeah. Um, and Gran, we have no fucking clue because uh, Janine was like the point of contact for Gran. Um, and Gran continues to refuse to go to a hospital. Um, oh, oh and, shit. Oh, there it is. Oh no. Really before any of this started, like. And the first minute was just gonna be uh just dropping the shoulders and keep in mind it doesn't have to be a hop it just you just want to make sure you have that feeling of you know dropping dropping but it can also just be this just drop you can do it it doesn't have to be here you can just do it kind of inside you fill up one leg or the other you just kind of drop the hip as you do it. But anyways yeah so we'll so we'll go ahead and start the time and we'll go three minutes The whole idea is you're dropping your center of gravity. So you want to feel like you're hanging from a string <clears throat> and you want the weight to go all the way down to the bottom of your feet. So you want the bottom of your feet to be a little, heavy, a little bit heavy. And then of course you just do this, but then, then you get used to doing this with the shoulders, but with the hands up, which is a kind of a, uh, a I don't know if oxymoron is a word for that, but just to, <laughs> Counterintuitive or whatever. And we finally went on a hike today. It's been like a week, almost a week since I've been on one. So nice. Well, a few days, I guess. Where did you hike? It sucks because now I'm about almost as heavy as I've ever been. <laughs> To, uh, you know, Inspiration Point. It's it's in. Uh, I don't think that's Berkeley. I think that's Orinda or something. Like the hills, the next set of hills. Do you guys know where that is, Inspiration Point? Yeah, I do. It, it's by there, about about an eighth of a mile away, on the other side of the road. It just kind of goes right up. We got what we were doing it pretty easy, but it wasn't easy today. <laughs> too, too lazy for the last few days. Just been trying to worry about getting to do Zooms and stuff like that. <laughs> and homework and schoolwork. Yeah, singles. People do the single parent thing. Woo! <laughs> Especially now. Like my mom, she had two of us, but <laughs> no help either. <laughs> Remember, drop the radar. Let everything drop all the way to the feet. Don't have to be fast. It can just be.
All right, so next one, the usual jab step. And we don't have to, you don't have to dance with it, remember. You don't have to, you can do that, but you don't have to. As long as you're bringing the back foot with you and sinking back your weight back on it. So like getting this, uh, your leg on and get set. Now it doesn't have to be the whole body or the whole leg, but just right here, you're getting like, get set. So if you needed to, you just, you don't have to do anything here. You just push through. But yeah, just for the jab, though. The jab set. And time. Remember to keep dropping the shoulders too, the whole whole time. You can also think of a jab coming at you. So you're stepping, but you're sinking right back so the jab slips, All right? The nice thing about this is the, by the time you throw one, the second one's already loaded. So if you want, you can do like, it's real easy to do those. You can take a couple steps first and delay it. You know, step, step, step. Remember another way to do it, the same step as this. And still bring everything back to that back leg. You can also sit lower on some of them if you want to. So you can go <laughs> sit back. Same step, south by. Make sure to sit down. Now sit lower, some of them. Same move, but you can just sit lower. All right. Sorry, someone's jabbing, you're slipping them and going a little lower. Instead of just here, you can sit back a little more. Make sure to drop the shoulders. And time, time. <clears throat> so before you let the arm out, do this, drop the shoulders.
Can be slow too though. I was like, just grab with the hand. You don't even really throw it. Just drop the shoulders, grab with the hand. It's just the forearm and wrist and hand that need to be strong. And only at the last second when you grab, shoulders loose. Okay, now uh, back to the um, right hand side. Let's work that pivot we were doing before. We go uh, but we can work a little slower this time. So same step, bring your back leg, land, and then remember we've worked this a lot of times, you know, just the pivot like this. But even though I know we keep doing this one repetitively a lot. It really makes a difference. Bring the back leg with you before you pivot. You don't need to, but it's, it helps. If you bring your power with you, then do that. All right. And try to get comfortable with each step. I know usually when we do this as a right hand step, you step out a little bit and turn. You can step, you don't have to, you can just turn to. But, um, of course, when you pivot both ways, you can also give yourself the hook to one. But more likely, you usually use the rope, the right. But you want to give yourself both options and kind of hang, kind of. Uh, so bring the back leg, really work on shooting the weight over here. Not all the weight, <laughs> but shooting a lot of weight into the ground. Right? You can always go that way, sometimes go this way, right? So bring it this way here, right? But try to get real comfortable with that. The whole idea, like last week, of steering the like a steering wheel, using your waist as a steering wheel. Bring your back leg, use the waist like a steering wheel. Start slow, you get comfortable with your positions, right? You can slip this way or you can slip this way, but then it's just like a ball. You don't throw it here, you turn the ball out the way. That foot is just, the foot just helps you turn. All right. But start slow, get real comfortable. Get real comfortable with both positions, and then you can let your hands go. That make sense? Yep. All right, cool. 
So yeah, as you come in and you slip, you're getting out of the way of the triangle, right? Either coming at you, either do a jab or a right for the most part. Anything else you can kind of just roll with, right? Anything else takes a little longer. You can kind of have time to roll with it. But usually it's a jab or a right, <laughs> you know, one or a two. So you're dealing with that. You bring your back leg, you're dealing with the two, probably the one, the one or the two, right? Just enough, just enough. Don't have to be way too far out of the way. It's like a triangle, like a wedge. You just want them just outside the triangle. There's a triangle there. Just outside the triangle. You don't need to be too far out, right? You know, oh, it's all going on. Time. Time. <clears throat> Can't do footwork in pants unless I'm outside. <laughs> Burn up all the time. Wait. So bring your power with you, but really get comfortable with this part. You wanna go just enough, just enough. It's the equivalent of doing this, just of drawing back and doing a pull, putting your weight here. It's just in this case, you're bringing it with you instead. Sure keep dropping the shoulders the whole time. Keep in mind, you're mostly going to be throwing a lot of right hands when you do this kind of pivoting, but the hook's there too. Same exact thing on the other side. Bring the back leg, pivot. Mostly left, but you can step across too. Main thing is you're bringing the back leg inside going to get set. So you're, so you're set to go, right? So instead of having to do your pivots here, which works if you can pull them into your space. That works fine. This is a little more aggressive because you're instead of doing that, you're bringing the back leg with you, which takes you over here. You know, a little, a little tiny step instead of having to be stuck back here. It was real sneaky. You call it the still step. You're just kind of sneaking the step in. But all uh, time. <laughs> Good. 
You can almost feel like you bring the back leg, you get a ball here. They push you, they're just gonna, you're gonna roll one way or the other. They either push you over here or they push you over here. Either way, you just, you just roll with it either way. Like upstairs, you think of the hand that's not punching. So if I'm going this way, I'm thinking of this hand pulling back. If I'm going this way, I'm thinking of this hand. Oh, sorry to ring. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we carried away. So um, let's work the um, that other angle. Same we've been doing, but I want to focus on something else. Though. So we're doing the, the front angle off the left foot, meaning, you know, this one, where you just put your pigeon toed, especially if you go this way, you got a pigeon toed. Otherwise, you go this way. It doesn't have to be that much of a pivot, pivot though, just whatever you want. Bring the back leg, so you're setting your leg up to jump jump back, right? So instead of going here, we're doing the opposite of what we just did, bringing the back leg. But what I want to focus on is with the upper body. Okay, we're talking about like it's like a steering wheel, right? You bring the leg, then you're turning. You know what? Actually, let's go back to the exercise we just did. And put it in that first, it'll make more sense that way. So back to the right leg, sorry, back to the right leg. Doing this one and pivoting. But what we gotta think about is like, okay, you got like a steering wheel here. You can also think of it like a like a wheel, right? You got the different spokes, right? You got different spokes in each different like degree or whatever. So as you're turning here, right? Your center is here, which is like the center of the spoke. So if this turns just a little bit. Out here it turns a bunch, right? Like a, like here in the center of the spoke. So, anyways, the center is here, pretty much with the center spine, whatever the spine. And I want you to turn, but here, but think of this. Don't think of the punch. Think of this, the whole thing rolling back. So this hand, and same thing this way. You're not focusing on this. You're focusing on 
this one. So you're always focusing on the hand coming back, but not necessarily just the hand, but the whole wheel. You're focusing on here, you're focusing on this part. Wow. Right? When you pivot this way, you're focusing on this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you know, almost think of it like a, um, well, you use gravity, but you know how gra everything is, uh, stuff's attracted, the stuff with more mass? You're putting all the mass on the leg here. Like here, you're not, by doing this, you're not really doing it. But, but when you do this sit down thing, there's a bunch of mass. So like that's where the, is that? And then when you're doing this, it's almost like a hurricane. You're drawing things in. You're drawing it into the center. This part, the part's shooting it back out. You don't have to think about that. It goes by itself. You just draw it in. <sighs> I'm not thinking about this hand. And then here, drawing in. But draw, it's like drawing into the leg and then it shoots back out from the leg. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're thinking of a, like the, like a, the, <laughs> my Thai teacher, she says, where the, the black hole is in the move. <laughs> There's always one part that's always like drawing stuff in. That's here or here, here or here. It's just either this or this. <laughs> right. Simple, but it's not that simple. <laughs> so, so make sense? Yep. All right, cool, cool. So tornadoes, we're tornadoes right now. <laughs> we're doing the same footwork as the last drill, but focusing on yeah. that? Okay. Yes. But you want to put that theory in there. It's a, a tornado, it sucks up everything and shoots it back out a mile away, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the tornado is here. It goes for a second to here, but it ends up here. Yeah, don't even punch at first. Just draw stuff in here. See, it was focusing on the back. Right? You're drawing stuff back. What's really cool about that is you don't even have to throw your punches. They'll throw themselves. Focusing on just on the legs and the wheel. But like I said, you're not focusing on this part, you're focusing on this part, part that's going towards the back. That's why the back's so important. Notice the more you draw in, the more the heavier the leg gets, you're actually driving more and more gravity to the leg. When you go this way, even though you're not shooting all the weight to the leg, you are putting weight there, of course, to the left, but it's almost like you're just dumping all the energy into it. The, the, hurt, the back hole goes to this side. It's just, so it's still focusing on this, the hand coming back and the leg. Of course, this stuff works real easy with it, right?
That has a whole different dimension to it, right? Did you notice that? You, did you notice a lot more in the move when you do that? Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. A lot more like opportunities, possibilities. Same thing, this side, bringing the leg and pivoting. But once again, our focus is not on the punch. The focus is not on the punch. The focus is on turning the wheel here. All right, so here, you bring the hand coming back. The hand coming back. We're focusing on this one. On this one. Not even doing anything with the other hand, I'm just letting it just fits in position, it'll throw. You don't have to actually throw it. Just, so just draw it back, draw it back. Bring the leg, draw everything back. Right. So turn the turn the bicycle wheel from the left. <laughs> All right. Tornado, we're drawing stuff in. Tornado. Any punch comes in, it just gets drawing in, just shot back out. It makes it a lot easier, you know? You really want to get comfortable. Sit down here, hang from, like hang from a string. Comfortable, comfortable. Now we'll put the same idea, but with the other one, we're going to do the front leg. But we're going to kind of go kind of slow here, though. Start slow. So same, it's a hook step, right? But hook step, pivot. Remember, it's like a manador or revolving door. Same kind of idea, but the, the tornado is more in the front leg, right? Another way to think of it is like a, if you get a big bat, a big ball and you're a, like a swimming pool and you push the ball in to the water, the more you push it, the more um, like it's just going to roll back at you. If it's a big, big old ball, it's going to roll back at you one way or another. 
kind of the idea here. You're, you're posting you're posting on the front leg. They come in and same thing, just the wheel, but you're using like, it's like a big ball. They push somewhere, it just roll, they, it rolls this way. They push this way, it rolls that way. Push the middle, you just make it go to one side or the other. Roll it. The same idea, but think of the, like I was saying, think of the, uh, the um, like spokes of a tire, right? On each, on each spoke, you got you got like, boom, 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 boom. Right? You think of coming back, right? So you think of this hand or this hand. So you're just drawing everything to the center. Don't the other thing will throw itself. <laughs> if you just bring this to the center, this will throw. If you just bring this to the center, this will throw. Right, it's just physics, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, time. time. First, I would just control them, don't even hit. Oh, it was a much easier way to punch off this front leg. <laughs> I never really thought of it quite like the bicycle wheel. I did, but not quite, I never explained it quite like that. <laughs> Over the last few days, I watched about 14 hours of boxing. Uh, so I've been recording some of my fighters. So this, this, these two brothers uh, just started training with me. I, I trained them when the one was about six and one was 12. So I did about, they had about two hours worth of sparring. So I put all, I had to go through all like hundreds of DVDs and look at their, you know, look for the names. But uh, then I, Another one of my fighters, this guy Jose, I haven't trained for in years. He had the most sparring. I went through all his stuff, you know, through hundreds of DVDs. So far I'm on over 10 hours of just his sparring. <laughs> it's more or less chronological. So it's kind of cool because I'm seeing all the different stuff I learned over the years, you know, it's sparring session by sparring session or fight by fight, it's kind of funny. Takes an amazing amount of time though to put 10 hours of pure sparring, <laughs> or actually about 11 hours now, I think. That's, that's a, that extra, for me anyway, that extra little uh, tire thing really helps. <laughs> it helps put, it's one thing to bring, just bring the hands back, right? Which is better than nothing. <laughs> just thinking of bringing the, the other hand back. It, cry, it creates a little bit by itself. But the thing about this, having the ball there, it's almost like, a, I don't know, it just gives you way more, um, uh, the correct arc because right this doesn't just come back it kind of comes back just like a, you know it kind of orbits right until it makes its way here it doesn't just go right it kind of orbits and you're not thinking of this one like i said you're just 
drawing in. This one shoots out by itself. Here, you're. Just think of this hand. Just think of the hand coming back. Right. Then you add the leg. You can, but you can turn the ball here. But once you free up that front, well, actually, I'm sorry, we're in the back leg now that's moving. Once you move the move up, move one of the legs or pivot one of the legs, it, it, it adds instead of just going here, now it suddenly is <laughs> here, right? You don't have to do that big of a circle, it can just be here. But does that make sense? Yep. All right, cool, cool. All right, uh, and time, time. Oh, uh, right leg now. Um, what time are we at? Oh, it says 6.30, which I was Oh, shit. <laughs> 6 30. I didn't see that coming up. Yeah, I didn't mean either. <laughs> I figured we had at least a good 20 minutes or something. Yeah, it's really, oh, yeah, it's really 6.30. All right. I guess we started a little late. <laughs> well, cool. 